Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. This is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Today we're going to be looking at the 2023 Essex, all new, versus the 2023 London Air. Both of these are new floor plans. There's a ton of new options available and I cannot wait to walk you through. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303 303- 5628659 and we're going to start today in the 2023 London Air. This is going to be stock number 5N220581. Again 5N220581 and this is a new floor plan. It's the 4521. Uh, today we're looking at the Hayworth exterior graphics and interior uh, finish as well. But I'd like to go ahead and kind of start from the outside, work our way around and go in. That way we can have some of the differences uh, between the interiors back to back. So first of all, you'll see that we have the HWH hydraulic steps on both of these units. A very nice feature, what this does is bring this unit down to the ground. As you can see, really easy threshold to get in and out of. Uh, nice low entry point. Also, we'll have a keypad here where you can lock and unlock your door and a doorbell. Super important. Normally, Jody rings up for me on my Monday videos and says, you know, ding dong, and I say, come on in. So we'll do that uh, next week at Monday, uh, about 1030. So sorry for missing that fun part today. Now, you will notice that we have these, these uh, slide cover, or I'm sorry, window shades. And one of the differences between the London Air and the Essex this year is that we have a bonded window on the Essex versus the standard window here that's set into the frame of the RV on the London Air. Also, we have an awning package that folds out versus if you look over here to the right, the awning package on the Essex that actually pops out, so it's a little bit different. Um, also, the execution of them is a little bit different, and we'll cover that when we get to the inside. So very, very nice to see the differences, though, between the windows and the awnings. Uh, another small feature, um, both of them are going to have a dual fill gas tank. Both will have 150 gallons of fuel. If you want to get up to that 200 gallon fuel level, you'll have to go into the King Air. Um, you'll also note that we have our traditional, very nice, uh oh, let me unlock these, um, our very nice uh, baggage doors with power locks. Super handy, as you can see here. Um, if you need to unlock your baggage doors, having to go get your keys to unlock each and every one is kind of a pain. Uh, here you'll have your Dometic on a slide as an option with the shelf above. Uh, you will still have the shelf above in that cabinet if you do not opt for the optional Dometic. That will be standard on an Essex. Um, but one of the things that's different about this is that we have these latches on the doors as opposed to push buttons. So we'll look at that in a little bit. Um, also, you'll note we'll have these Easy Glide slide trays. These are designed to come out to uh, 60%. So you'll be able to access them even with your slides all the way out, which is really nice. And one of the things that we've been able to do is to actually give you that same big uh, height that you're used to having on this slide this year. So Numar uses the Star Foundation and the Star Foundation uh, really allows us to build a coach that has a much better basement uh, than the competition. And what's nice about it is it gives you so much additional storage you really don't need to keep as much in the RV because you've got so much underground storage for things like your barbecues and your camping chairs, your paddle boards. Um, but as you can see, really big storage the whole way through. And these doors are very nice. Um, in 2022, we went to a different door system and it's actually so much easier to open and close these doors. Uh, so we also have the uh, central vac. These are your attachments. Uh, what's nice about this is when you attach them to the inside of the coach, they reach all the way to the front and the back with that hose. So if you want to vacuum out underneath the couch, for instance, you can. Um, none of the, neither of these coaches will have carpet in them except for underneath a little bit of the furniture. Uh, but they're all tile floors. So, so that more floor is a feature that's also made available to us because of the hydraulic system that we have on both of these RVs. So not only do you have a hydraulic step, you have hydraulic leveling jacks that are standard by HWH, and you also have a hydraulic slide system. So all of those systems uh, pulled together really make this a, co a coach that's a step above the rest. Um, also on both vehicles, you'll see that these are our uh, lane, lane departure warnings. So these little sensors here are gonna be for your lane uh, departure system. There's six on both of the RVs. On, um, 
on the Dutch star, on the Dutch star, uh, and on the like uh, the superstars, they have um, mobile eye, but they don't have these sensors for your blind spot. So these blind spot sensors are really nice. Uh, you also see that we have a, a 360 camera up here next to the security light, and both of these are going to have this wonderful awning package where you'll have two full extension awnings and rain gutters. Uh, so this coach um, has a 13 foot height, but inside of that height is all of a, like, almost like a rooftop, if you will, where you have uh, your air conditioning, um, your solar, all of that is cloistered in walls surrounding it, and also with a rain gutter that lines it, and it actually redirects where the water's falling and where it's pooling and dripping out of the coach, so that you don't get unsightly water lines down the exterior of the coach. So that's a nice feature as well. Uh, both of these vehicles are going to have a 1,950 foot-pound uh, torque rating. They're both going to have a 20,000 pound uh, towing capacity. And one of the things that makes them so easy to drive is both will have this tag axle. Um, and so the rear wheel here will tag along, if you will. So you'll notice you've got kind of an Innie and an Audi. Uh, both of these vehicles have a very good turning radius because this back wheel will pivot and allow you easier parking uh, if you would like. Um, you're also going to have a dual fill def tank on both units. And one of the things I think is really nice about uh, Newmar is that you'll see that they not only color match um, all the way up to the edges, they actually continue on to the exterior of the slide at the London Air and Essex level. So you have that really attractive, beautiful, continuous paint color. Of course, this is a full, uh, a full paint finish. On, um, on the Essex, you have a six step butt buff and cut uh, finish versus a five step. So, this is just got a little bit less buff and cut, but as, as you can tell, it's all smooth here. If you'd like to come out and touch one yourself, you're welcome to, but just a really fantastic execution. Also on both of these units, you're going to see um, a really nice rear end cap. And you'll note that you have access here to your 605 horsepower engine. Uh, this is on the K3 Spartan chassis. Uh, you do have your camera. Uh, your Voyager camera system, you've got your seven pin connector, you've got your airline, and again, your 20,000 pound uh, towing capacity. And one of the things that's really nice about both of these coaches is that your radiator is actually located on the, on the driver's side, as opposed to the back, just giving you better access. In both units, you're going to see that we have egress doors. Your other deaf fueling tank is here. Uh, you also have a nice place, this will store an entire um, gravity hose. We have this on almost all of our units. Uh, in this coach, you will not need to use your gravity hose here because you will have in this water bay your uh, SantaCon system. Now this is where one of the differences uh, is really pronounced in the uh, London Air versus the Essex. So this Essex um, versus London Air comparison is really not designed to tell you what you need or don't need, but just to tell you what the difference is in the coach. The monoblock system allows you to turn off uh, the water by zone, uh, but you can see you still have a really fantastic uh, system here in the, in the London Air. So definitely not, you know, not a slouch by any means. Um, all of that being said, SantaCon system is going to be standard on both of them. They're going to have hot and cold water as well as a paper towel dispenser and then a power uh, water hose as well. Uh, so that's great. Uh, one of the differentiating features between the Essex and the King Air, the King Air has a UV water treatment system, which I think is pretty, pretty fantastic. So let's talk about one of these other differences. Um, and this is going to be new for 2023 on both models. Now, please note that if you would like to watch a video on 5N220581, that's this London Air that we're looking at. I have a full video available online, but this is an optional lithium ion battery pack on the London Air. It is not optional on the Essex. It's included in the sale price. So one of those things just to take note of, if you'd like to go with that regular eight, 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 um, sorry, eight AGM battery pack that gives you 800 amp hours of battery storage, you have that option to save that money on the London Air. It is a standard feature on the Essex. And just so that we're clear on that, um, on uh, London Air, you would normally have a six uh, battery, six, six 100 amp hour batteries. Um, when you upgrade to full electric and you have an Oasis system with a 50,000 BTU furnace, um, all electric uh, coach, 
and hydronic heating for your water as well as for your heat. Um, what happens is you upgrade into an eight battery system. So that eight battery system is a few hundred pounds heavier than this lithium ion battery pack. If you were to add that third or optional battery, you would be about the same weight. The difference is instead of having 800 amp hours, you'd have 960. Um, if you don't add the extra battery, you're at 620 amp hours. Either one is more than enough. Uh, lithium ion charges faster and it also has a more consistent level of power. So your appliances like to run at the same uh, input the whole time. They don't like the fluctuation. And on a standard AGM battery, you will have fluctuation. Uh, your amps may drop down to 12.5 and go up to 13.4. It's not a consistent level. Whereas with this system, you're going to have a consistent level of power for your uh, appliances now, where is that important? Well, if you're somebody living in your coach and off the off the you know grid a lot, then that would make a big difference to you, uh, because at that point you're using your batteries and your dual inverters uh, on both the London Air and the Essex to have your power. Now, if you're plugged in to your generator, so if you've got your gen running like I do over here on the Essex, that's a 12.5 kilowatt generator for the record, big generator power on both of these units. Uh, but if you're running your generator, your coach is always going to go to the bias of your generator, even if you're plugged into 50 amp. If you're plugged into 50 amp, your coach is going to go generator first, 50 amp second, and then if you're not plugged into either your generator or to 50 amp, then you're using battery power. So as to whether or not you need to have that lithionics system, it really depends on the type of camping you're going to do. So keep in mind, there's a big difference in these price points and you may not necessarily need everything that comes standard on the Essex. I have printed build sheets. I'll show you what those look like inside um, and you can kind of compare and contrast. Now you'll notice here we've got another one of these sensors. We also have our integrated side camera here in the mirror. So not only when you turn your signal on can you see the alert arrow up here in the mirror. Uh, you also have your camera to show you the left and right side of your RV integrated into the mirror itself. A lot of times they're placed here on the side of the unit, so that's a nice feature. In both of these units, you'll notice that we have our uh, windshield wipers are hidden. Now, where does that help us? There's a number of different things. It keeps them from corroding, from getting dry, cracked. It keeps them from getting bugs on them. It keeps them from icing up, and it also keeps them out of your sight. So they're just kind of nicely tucked away. Uh, this is going to have a different level of diamond shield uh, on it versus the Essex. Now, I can't really tell the difference by looking at it, but from what I understand, the Essex is going to give you a little higher level of protection. Um, but keep in mind, look at this beautiful headlight assembly. Um, it's just lots of LED lights, really well put together, beautiful fascia. Uh, you still have your mobile eye unit. This is going to be what's helping you with your lane tracking once again. And then you're going to have also your adjustable cruise control. So you've got both of those features. Um, now, when we switch over here to the Essex, we have a whole new front end cap. So this has been completely redesigned by Numar. Uh, they're really, really excited about this. And also, one of the things that we've done is we've changed out our headlights. So you've got better uh, illumination at night and you also have better high beams. Um, now, these are standard where they're going to be at the on and off where you don't have to turn them on and off. So that's a big difference between these two headlight assemblies. If you look at them, you can actually see the difference between the two assemblies, from this assembly to the one on the London Air. So better headlights may be important to you. If that's something that matters to you, that is something worth noting. And again, you're going to have that power um, or that automatic high beam, which is really nice if you're driving through the mountains a lot. So that might be important to you as well. Now, as we go down this side of the coach, you'll notice we just did this whole entire side on the London Air. So let's go ahead and do this here on the Essex. Uh, Again, full wall slide. Awnings are a little bit different. They do have lights in them. You've got the same security lights. You've got the same 360. But here in the front bay, a lot of the same things, but you access it by pushing the button. So this little button here gives you an automatically opening and closing uh, bay door. So they've got soft close, which is really nice. And then you'll notice here that you also have uh, the lithium ion battery pack with the two 3000 uh, watt inverters, these are standard on the Essex, so that is a difference. Uh, you also get a windshield washer squeegee. I'll tell you what, 
you better give me one if I buy an Essex. I expect it. In the King Air, you actually get a power hose uh, wash. Now, the other big differentiating feature, let's get back here to this one. Again, power door release. So here's your monoblock system. So the monoblock system is gonna give you zone control for your hot and cold water. If for some reason you need to turn off your hot or cold water, you would be able to do that uh, by zone in this system. This is also going to be a standard feature in that of the King Air. So it's a nicer feature, if you will. Again, Santa Con is gonna be standard, nothing special there. Well, I shouldn't say that it's special, but it's nothing different there, if you will. And then you still have, again, you've got these six sensors on the left and right hand side of the coach for blind spot assist. It's a nice, nice feature there. And again, you've got our radiator here on the side of the coach. And you'll notice here in this bonded window, so this window is a different construction, but it also has a large slide out here uh, so that you have the capacity to open and close that window because there's not a window over here on this side. Now that sounds like Greek, I'm sure, but when we look at the London Air, it has a window here. When we look at the Essex, it has a window here. And one of the things that we don't have in the King Air is opening windows in the bedroom. So between those three, this has got kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, bonded windows are just, um, they're adhered to the coach, much like that of your windshield on your vehicle, on the front of the RV. Because they're actually bonded into the RV and sealed, they have a quieter ride going down the road, less wind noise. Um, and they're also able to mount them without as much to do on the interior so they can really frame them out a lot nicer. So really what you're getting out of that bonded window is a better look, a wider window, and a more attractive uh, present presentation. Uh, it's not, to be honest with you, so you'll notice a difference in sound, but not to the point where it would be a deciding factor. It's just another one of those benefits that you get when you go into that Essex or King Air level. Uh, so here in the back, again, a wholly redesigned uh, back end cap. So once again, completely redone, beautiful uh, execution by Numar, always changing things up. Uh, this year, they're giving you five exterior color options. Uh, they've also given you a number of new floor plans. And I have a highlighted uh, version inside showing you uh, which of the six London Airs versus five Essex cross cells so that you can have that same floor plan on either. And then there's going to be some floor plans at each level that are distinct to that actual line. So for instance, a 4551 you can have in a London Air, you can have in an Essex, you can have it in a King Air. Um, but like this particular setup is, is unique only to the Essex, which is really nice. Uh, again, we have this same setup here. Uh, the Kurt Spectrum integrated brake controller in your dash where you don't have to add a brake controller is a really nice feature. There's no uh, module that you need to have. It is optional on the Essex, I'm sorry, on the London Air and standard on the Essex. Another thing that's really interesting about this Essex is that it has a tilt feature. Um, the London Air does not have a tilt feature, so I can literally push a button in my water bay and have it tilt to drain all of the gray water and fresh water out of my tanks when I'm trying to drain my tanks, letting it drain just a little bit faster. So a little more in, in terms of convenience. Um, I don't think I showed you the chassis batteries on the back of the London Air. I did in last week's video, but here's your chassis battery setup. So very similar, um, again, 605 horsepower K3 uh, chassis by Spartan. Uh, dual fill for both your 150 gallon fuel tank and um, here we go uh, your 150 gallon fuel tank and dual fill uh, for your uh, def tank 15 gallon def tank again you've got your six blind spot monitors here and then this is where your water bay is going to be housed um, so all of your water is in here it is heated so that you don't have to worry about freezing during the winter you're going to have things like a surge protector standard and then here's just a great place to keep all of, you know, your high-end liquors, uh, you know, top shelf, you know, Patron and, and, your, and your Grey Goose, and then all of your mixers down below. No, I'm just kidding. They made this for tire shine. Men, I swear. Ladies, you know what's out, out there. We know how to make a good cocktail. We know where to put the goods. All right. So, again similar layout on both sides. There's your road vac. You've got your centralized central vac. And then once again, in these bonded windows, it's really nice. They've given you these little cutouts where you still have windows that can open and close. 
but you'll note that here in the Essex, this window is stationary, it does not open and close on either side of the bedroom. It only opens on that other window that I showed you just a few minutes ago. Now, all of that being said, here's the TV that I couldn't close if I let it go. Uh, you're gonna have a Bose soundbar outside. Uh, you're gonna have your 43 inch Samsung television. Um, again, you're gonna have your power slides, just the same as the one that I showed you uh, next door. So a lot of similarities, and then also a lot of really cool clutch differences. Again, this is a standard feature in this coach as opposed to an optional feature, but you can have your Dometic on either one of these. Um, the lights underneath the slide outs are standard on the Essex where they're optional on the London Air, so underneath these slides here. And then you're going to still have, of course, your uh, controls here and your doorbell and your HWH um, steps. But let's go ahead and start from the inside of the London Air. And then we can get, we'll finish up with a complete walkthrough on the Essex. Now I will do, um, or somebody here will, we make five videos uh, a day or a week for RVs. We make three a day, one for trucks, one for trailers, and one for RVs um, five days a week here at TransWest. So we will do a full comprehensive video on the Essex. Um, at a later point in time, but for today's video, I think some of the things to talk about, one of the big changes on this floor plan is that we've been able to put your uh, dinette on the passenger side. So that's a new feature. Um, your central vac is still conveniently located with your hoses. Uh, this is again, still that wonderful bath and a half model. And again, I have done a full presentation on this 2023 London Air uh, already. And that is again stock number 5N220581. If you type in to YouTube TransWest and a stock number, it'll pull up all of our videos by stock number. So write that down, easy to access. Um, so some of the things that are going to be the same in this coach. You're going to have a really nice three zone heated tile floor. It is going to be porcelain tile. In the Essex, you're going to have some curvature on your furniture, which will be indicative of a higher end finish. They also do a two hand sand process as opposed to a single sand process on the Essex versus the London Air. So this is a single sand, um, but as you can see, this is a beautiful sable maple um, hardwood finish. This is the high gloss. You're going to have that same really beautiful um, mirror with that backlighting big medicine cabinets. Um, the London Air tends to be a little more contemporary, like you'll notice that in the backsplash. Also in your uh, faucets, you know, maybe a little more modern, if you will. Uh, you'll see that we have the linear drains in here. Um, and then tons of storage still. Uh, the beading in the London Air is on the handles where the beading in the Essex will be in the wood but both will have that dovetail construction. Both will be soft closed doors. Uh, another small difference I would say is that you have, um, first of all, lots of room for shoes, lots of room for uh, linens, any kind of pillows, blankets that you might have, a ton of extra storage space. But in the Essex, you wouldn't have wallpaper back here. You'd actually have a cedar lined closet. So we'll look at that as a difference. And you'll note when we look at this window, um, this is a really good comparison. So you can always just write down the times during these videos and stop them. But this is what you see in the standard RV window installation versus the bonded window. So that's a good way to see the difference between this egress door and that of the window on the Essex. But both of these are still going to have the ability to open and close. Both of them still have nice porcelain potties. Um, I love the size of the shower in this floor plan. So if you're a big person or if you just want some extra room, uh, my superstar has a small shower. Um, I have a 4065 and it's interesting. It's square. So it's actually, even though it's not very big, it still feels very comfortable. Uh, one of the things I really like is this 220 pound capacity teak uh, shower bench. This is nice. It just allows me to sit down. I can adjust my uh, adjustable or wand shower head to aim at me lower if I don't want to use the overhead rain shower. Um, so the shower size doesn't seem to be really prohibitive to me, but I'm not a big, you know, dude. So 
it, that might be part of it. But all of that being said, the square shape seems to be really nice. One of the things that I really like about this setup, of course, is the same in almost all of our RVs, uh, starting from Ventana up, is the shower miser water saving system. And what that does is it actually recycles your water back into your freshwater tank and while well, it's heating up until you're ready to take a shower, which is very nice. Um, you also have an optional, um, you know, assist bar here. Honestly, I think I would probably use that to hang up my scrubbies and my washcloth more than to use it to stand up. I don't get up right here, but you know, maybe need it, but that's, that's great. If you do, it's there. I would also think I would probably just use a handle to get up. But as you'll see here on the back of the glass here, we've got two towel racks and a robe hook. So for any of those that are thinking about buying a 4065 Superstar, they don't have a robe hook. Major. Um, oh, speaking of thumbs down, look at the thumbs up on that. Linear drain, love it. Okay, so your Splendid dryer is 110 versus 220. Um, and it's also, I think, a Whirlpool versus a Splendid from the Essex to the London Air. So a little bit better dryer. I use this all the time. Um, I just did all of my linens in my Superstar last weekend and Memorial Day. I washed all my sheets. I washed and dried everything. I washed my pillowcases. I mean, everything. So really good capacities in these washers and dryers for those of you that are concerned about size. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about uh, windows. So this one opens, and that's when I was pointing to the one outside on the Essex, where this one opens on that bonded window in the Essex. In the London Air, you have more windows that open. You have this window here, as well as the windows on either side of the headboard. So that's a nice feature. New for 2023, the London Air has this fantastic control panel. We'll look at this a little more in depth in the Essex, because there are some features that are different here. If you'd like an in-depth walkthrough on this control panel, I did that in the last London Air video that we did on this model. So this particular RV has already been filmed the whole way through with a much more thorough uh, go through. Uh, this is a second zone for your heated floors. So again, more floor, all tile. That's part of that HWH, um, you know, full wall slide that we have here. And then we'll, I'll just show this because I think it's so freaking cool. 43 inch TV here, 50 inch pop-up, all 4K, but storage and you're safe. So they moved the safe in this model and gave you some cool storage back here, which I really think is fantastic. I really like this floor plan a lot. This has got a big shower. It's got a cool setup in the bedroom. Um, in both models, they've added these smaller drawers. Oh, sorry, that's for your stuff. You got three of them here. I think that there's actually three in the Essexes too, Essex as well. They're in the bathroom, but they're a little bit longer. But I love this because, I mean, we all know we have like smaller stuff, like underwear, socks, things like that, where we maybe don't need, maybe just our wallets. Um, you know, jewelry, where we just don't need as much space and you want to keep your jewelry, for instance, in a container because if it's not in a drawer, then you have to take it off of the shelf, put it back in the drawer, where here you could actually just lay everything out nice and neatly. Um, so I love that. Um, let's see, we'll cover um, the differences in the nightstands just briefly. So these will have, uh, if you look underneath here, Jody, I don't know if you can get down there, but there's a 110 and a USB port there underneath. And then there's a little slit where you can slide your cover or your cords back through the top. Uh, so you can actually put your covers in here and then leave it through on top. Uh, the difference that you have here versus that is that in this particular coach, you don't have the little circles for the wireless charging ports. Um, now, again, we are talking about a bath and a half model. So as you can see, again, windows are just a little bit different here. But please note, these are really, really great oversized windows. I mean, this is like, look at how much view you have here. And these aren't bonded, these are set in. So you'll see that here, just mounted a little bit differently, uh, but still great window space. Again, uh, this is the Sable Maple Darkwood finish. It's available on both floor plans. Uh, the recliners are available on both floor plans. Um, I showed that bed last week, so you can see that, all the 110 outlets. Um, this is the optional queen seat. Um, we covered the whole entire dash um, last week. Uh, one of the features to mention is that this coach, when you're towing something heavy, so if you've got a 20,000 pound anything behind you 
and you want to shift some weight, there's a valve control system where you can actually displace some of the weight from the rear of the coach to the front, giving you more control of the item that you're trailering. And that is available or standard on both uh, the Essex and the London Air. So I thought that that would be a differentiation between the two products, it is not. So I like that a lot. Um, again, we'll just have Jody just take a quick peek back and take a look at, like I said, maybe more of a modern finish to this, a little less traditional, uh, but still just super, super opulent. Um, on our way out, we'll note that we still have things like um, the, the monitor, the rear, oh shit, I lost the Jeep monitor, is standard on both. Uh, you'll note that these seats are heated, but in the Essex, they're also massaging and cooled. So that's another difference between the two. I definitely need massaging cooled seats. And I also really need something where I can push a button to tip it to get the water out. Just so I can show my friends, not because it's really useful to me, because I don't really do the dry water, black water dumping, that's my boyfriend's job, but just to be like, hey, look at this button. I would love that. All right, so we've already done the outside of this coach. Let's go ahead and do the inside of this Essex. Uh, Jody, I would love it if you wouldn't mind. Take her on back. As always, I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. Look at those glowy little underlights. How cute is that? Love that. So again, this is a brand new uh, floor plan. This is the 4595. And this is stock number 5N220652. Again, 5N220652. Six five two. Oh my gosh, Jody, you should have gotten Cherish running by with the video cam thing. So just so you guys know, um, I owe my life to the video crew. These guys really just crush it for us on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, they're so tolerant with all of our whimsies and allowing us to um, really live our best lives and helping you to know what you're looking at when you're online. Um, I really appreciate them so much. And excuse me, I'm just switching out my my in information right now. I'm gonna grab my measuring tape, drop the sunglasses. Um, okay, so this is the Hepburn uh, decor. So take a look at this floor. This is a new tile floor. I mean, man, Kim, you really knocked it out of the park on this coach. So pretty. Um, so this 4595 is also a bath and a half model. Um, I just think it's so decadent looking. Um, as you'll note here on the right hand side, in the shower we still have a lot of these same features where we've got like the dual towel racks, uh, the linear drain, the aquavisor shower system, the teak bench, but there's this really cool like gold inlay in the tile. And then I love this new faucet system, so I love the brass in uh, stainless dual tone really allowing you to mix your metals in the coach. Just so well done, so classy. I love the geometric shape that we have here on the shower pan. And you know, it's just, what a great coach. Um, now this is the new floor plan. So you'll notice we were talking about shower size earlier. This is about the size of the shower I have in my 4065. I feel like it's plenty roomy with your cathedral ceiling. You've got plenty of height. Um, all of your body wash, shampoo and conditioners right here. You still have your assist handle. Big rain shower head, a little bit bigger than you had in the London Air if you didn't note that. Um, but so just plenty of room in here for me. Um, for you, it might be different. Now if you take a look at the vanities back here, this is another big differentiation. So we saw the undermount sinks below. And here in the Essex, you'll notice that you've got these really beautiful glass um, sinks here. And also again, there's that two-tone uh, copper, I'm sorry, not copper, but brass and stainless. And then I like the way they've done this more residential style uh, mirror here. I think that that's really fun. So I'm actually in the middle of building a new house. And one of the things I've done is instead of doing the whole glass panel in the back, I'm doing sconces with mirrors like this. So that's pretty cool. And then we talked about this briefly a few minutes ago, but again, here's our cedar lined closet. Um, if you can't smell the difference, I certainly can. And I promise you the moths will too. Uh, the cedar smell is really just decadent. Um, oh, and here's these drawers. So, yep, there's three. That's what I thought. Okay, not four. But here are your smaller drawers, which I just really think is fantastic. And then I love that you have a cubby on both sides here with all of your toiletries. And you'll note that they also have the outlets are hidden underneath here. So really classy. 
Um, and as I mentioned in the London Air video, we had that beading on the handle. Here it's actually integrated into this wood. And you've got three, again, nice full extension dove, dovetail drawers. I'll show you the dovetailing in the kitchen, I think, just for savior of time. These videos, when there's two of these coaches side by side, go a little bit longer. But I feel like it's really important to help you to make good decisions in terms of what you want. So here is your safe in this coach. And again, cedar lined, nice adjustable shelves and really cool bathroom with a lot of extra room. And here is that egress door with that different window mount. So you can see this is just a little bit different than what we saw in the London Air in terms of what these bonded windows allow us to do. Um, okay, so let's talk about, I have this step up. Okay, dual lithium ion batteries with two, sta two inverters are standard on the Essex. Uh, by the way, having uh, that second inverter, that second 3000 uh, watt inverter allows you to run one air conditioner uh, without being plugged in to 50 amp, which is a big difference. And then here is the difference in that washer and dryer. Again, your Whirlpool goes from 110 to 220, so a little bit better drying time. Like I said, that Splendid works great for us. Uh, they still have this really nice little drawer underneath to keep all your little pods and your dryer sheets. Um, and again, heated floor here as well. Uh, as you'll note in the Essex, we have a completely new fascia surrounding the headboard. As I mentioned briefly, there is the, the docking station here where I can just charge my phone by simply pushing it on the power charger, but you still have underneath your uh, 110 and USB where you can run your cord through as well. So you're not losing anything, you're just gaining a little bit, if you will. Um, so we still have an all lights off switch here underneath. So you can turn off all of the lights in the entire coach from one location in both the London Air, the Essex, even in the Superstar. So uh, this is a really, really nice feature that we use all the time because we'll go to bed and instead of having to go through and make sure everything's off, we just get in bed, hit the button, everything's off. We don't have to worry about it. Now you'll note here, uh, this is so beautiful. So this soft, uh, rounded corner here. Um, I love this inlay above the windows, but they don't open. So that's important to note. That's the difference between uh, the Essex and the London Air. And for some people, I mean, if you were in here with Jody and I right now, Jody, thumbs up or thumbs down, pretty cool. Pretty cool, I got, a, I got a thumbs up here. And this is just, you know, it's just sitting here, super nice. Um, a nice feature here is that we've got is this, look at this huge, huge dresser. So tons of room here, really big storage up top and really nice deep drawers as well. Full extension, tons of room here. But this is the window that you can now open. And when you open it, it actually has a screen that pulls open as well. So you can open this and use this for ventilation in this room. And then over here on the right hand side, we've got two 110 outlets and two USB ports too. So this is a great charging location for your, uh, for your goods. Now, um, today we are going to do, I would say a bit of a, an abbreviated uh, version of a walkthrough because I want to make sure we don't take too much time uh, we'll do a full demonstration on this coach next week. Uh, but this is again a bath and a half model. Please note that here, once again, there's that bonded window. We showed you that from the outside. That's what it looks like from the inside that does open. So it's really nice that they still allow us to do that. And then our inner vac system is almost in the exact same place. Again, that connection will allow you to vacuum uh, the front and the rear, or you've got the kick plate to the left here where you can sweep into this kick plate and you don't even need to really worry about um, having your cords. But let's talk about some of the upgrades and changes for the 2023 model year. Take a look at this. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Okay, Katie, so what? It's a pantry, no big deal. Well, I hate to tell you this. This is not your only pantry. Um, now you'll note we went from a 19.7 to a 21 cubic foot Bosch refrigerator versus Whirlpool. We have water and ice in the door. So that's a big new feature for the Essex. We brought the, we brought the ice in the door back. Uh, let me see if I can get this open. There we go. Take a look at the size of this refrigerator. Huge, huge space. 
huge, huge space. And same thing goes with this freezer. Tons and tons of room. Now keep in mind the Dometic on the slide is standard in this coach as well. But pantry, back to pantry. Wow, look at this. So one of the differences in this pantry, um, in the 2023, you're going to have the adjustable shelves down here. Now you can use that to put a skillet, you could use it for baking dishes, you could use it for castle roll dishes. This is designed to keep whatever you might need, in, uh, need to keep underneath here in both the London era and in the Essex. In the Essex, you can just pull these drawers out there, full extension. Um, I want you to note, I have said over and over again in video after video that these are adjustable. Um, they are, but it's not an easy adjustment. So if you have specific spacing that you like, uh, it may behoove you when you order your RV through us to let us know what you'd like to have set here uh, because it's not something I would actually take on probably on my own. Um, but so what are the differences here? So as you can see, all of these are just pull out full extension drawers, but this little bar here starting in 2022 when you engage this coach into drive will actually lock and keep these in place so that they don't come out. So on the London Air, it's a push in to release, whereas the Essex and the King Air actually have a locking bar mechanism. Um, but in this new floor plan, we now have two huge pantries. Okay, you think that that's it? It's not it. Check this out. Here is a fantastic place to keep your wine goblets, right? So you can hang up your wine glasses here. As you can see, nice deep notches in this acrylic so that they'll stay in place while you're driving down the road. You still get a ton of, oops, sorry, a ton of storage up here on top. And you also get this beautiful new, first of all, I love this uh, tiled uh, backsplash. This matches the, um, the bath and a half. The half has a smaller tile, but still this beautiful glass subway tile. But this is your wine cooler and drink area. So this is your bar. And you'll note that you also have a wine cooler um, down below. So Samsung wine cooler, Bosch appliances, um, Whirlpool, you know, uh, washer and dryer with a little bit better drying capacity. So you are getting a difference um, in appliances for the money. So that's an important feature. Um, but as you can see, super, super cool new feature. Now, if you did not want the bar here, you could still opt for the regular cabinets. It would just extend them down further and then it would continue your cabinet space and your counter space here. But as you can see, tons of counter space um, and this gives you, just so you know, 27 deep versus 27 across. So a huge, huge area for anybody who likes to entertain. Um, and you're still going to have your regular counter space uh, here on this floor plan. Um, and this is 37 inches to the sink and it is 76 inches, 77 uh, to this break here. So tons of room here. And then in terms of depth, we're looking at 33 inches deep. So deeper than you would find on a regular residential countertop. Now, all of that being said, I know I mentioned that, that we had another uh, Bosch feature here. As you can see, we've kept with our beautiful cutting boards in our inlaid uh, stove top covers, but now we have a three burner stove. So one, two smaller and a larger third burner on this induction cooktop huge improvement um, coming from a place where we have I have a two burner induction cooktop which I love um, really nice to have that uh, upside to this a little more cooking capacity so for those of you uh, that you know subscribe regularly to the pampered chef and love to do all those fun cooking you know experiments while you're out camping really great utility um, downside it's not removable so in the London air you've got a two burner but you can take that out and use it outside where this one is going to be stationary. Um, and then again, Bosch appliances the whole way through. So your convection and microwave oven, once again, of course, is great for baking cookies or microwaving a burrito, but it is a Bosch microwave oven. And then you still have all that fantastic spice storage up top. And then you still have your fantastic amount of remotes. And you will use this, of course, for silverware at some point in time. Um, and then we also have our really nice uh, wash, our dishwasher. Um, this Fisher Pakel is in both units. In the Essex, it is going to be wood covered for a more, um, how shall we say, subtle and integrated look. 
a little higher end versus being stainless in that of the London Air. Um, another difference, don't laugh, it's true. Here's a great place for your sink covers, by the way. Uh, you get a stainless steel trash can for that upgrade, buddy. So there's some of it. I mean, honestly, Newmar's smart. Um, they build a fantastic RV um, and they really allow you to have whatever level of finish is necessary for you to feel good because as we know everyone's got a different house there's a different cabin there's a different home some people have a you know a ranch style some people have a four story you know you know rail car style there's all sorts of different fits for you um, but Numar is so fantastic in giving you so many great options and ways to either spend a little more to get a little more opulence save a little bit maybe by having some more flexibility um, if you haven't seen you know products like the ventana and the dutch star the bay star all of these coaches are made so well um, but for those of you who want a little step up like more scrubby space you know i always love the scrubby holder um, you know there's things like this ventana and as you'll note like every single drawer here is dovetailed so, and that's throughout the entire RV. Um, and when they finish this coach, they actually finish this coach. Um, they actually have a woman who comes through and she does all of the uh, treatments on all of the cabinets at the same time so that you have the same consistency throughout the entire RV. So just really, really nice. Um, I love this new floor plan. Uh, somebody was asking me uh, for this contact information, Mike, he has a King Air uh, bunk model, a 2022 bunk model I sold him. Mike Meter, there is your Country Club 800 number. So for those of you who want to be part of Newmar's Country Club and to go to all of our high-end resorts, there you go. And I love the way that this drawer extends all the way out so you can get to the back and then all the way back in so that you have full access to everything. You're not up there on your step stool trying to reach. Uh, super, super nice. Okay, so best little sinks oh okay so a few things i didn't cover i know i, I talked about the 21.6 cubic foot Bosch refrigerator versus the whirlpool the 20 220 amp dryer versus the 110 um but one of the things i didn't cover is right here so in this coach um i have the shades deployed so as you can see when you look out this window it's keeping the sun out of here um so i think like three weeks ago it was snowing we did our video <laughs> and I was wearing like long johns and like you know mountain boots today it's uh, 80 degrees and I'm wearing flip-flops and uh, really cute little white pants but um, it's always a different temperature but I love that you can control your awnings here digitally so this is a difference between the London Air and the Essex and I know I mentioned I would cover that but so these are all of them and then also oops I don't know how I got there you can also cover your floor heat, your coach mode. Um, I have this set to outdoor plugged in. Uh, you can run your, you can see your batteries. Uh, one thing that Ken Williams mentioned um, that I think is important, Ken Williamson, by the way, is our Numar rep for King Air, Essex, and, uh, and, and our Super C lines. But you can actually see not only your, um, your voltage and what you're, what you're running at, but you can also see how many amp hours you have left to operate so if you were to turn the generator off for instance again 12.5 kilowatt generator if you were to turn it off you would see this number start to slip that's how many amp hours you have remaining um, in charge when you have your lithium ion battery package which i think is super super cool um, and then i know we covered a lot of this in the london air video i think that this coach deserves a full video on um on the uh tel on the telematics of the silver leaf system but there's an all lights off switch now um, on your silver leaf panel here as well as under the bed, which is super, super handy. And then Jody, if you don't mind, I am gonna bring in this rear slide. So in last week's video, we did show you the walking space in the London Air. Um, now keep in mind, Newmar has a decision to make. They can either make it so that you have lots of space on uh, your walkways through the center while you're driving down the road, or they can give you really big furniture and large bedrooms. Um, it's kind of tough to thread the needle on both. Um, I think that they make it very easy to walk through this coach uh, in both fashions. So I think that you know you can get through both. 
Um, I heard someone say sideways shuffle on a video and absolutely any of the new Mars, if you don't like the sideways shuffle, then buy a Renegade. Um, but if you, unless you have, um, and of course people have like, you know, disabilities, knee issues, things along those lines where they might need to have a little more room. Um, if that's the case, there are other manufacturers out there. This will get pretty narrow, but I want to start showing this with it all the way closed in. Before we do though, let's go ahead and finish the rest of this, uh, this compartment. So first of all, we have our two chairs underneath the bed in the back, along with our tables, our, our table extensions. So there's two uh, leaves that fold in. There's an additional uh, uh, foot pedal that drops down in this Essex floor plan. And as promised, I wanted to show you when you call us and you decide you'd like to buy something, you know, we have, oh shoot, it's not there, oh, hold on. I switched out already, Jody. I switched out. We have um, a number of different options, but one of the things that's interesting is that on the London Air, these are your uh, recliner, your 87 uh, inch high to bed sofa, or your theater seats. And the Essex, by the way, these are all the differences between the London Air and the Essex step up. So if you'd like to see that, I can help you with that. Um, but in the Essex, you'll see that there are a few extra options that you may or may not have had in, um, in the London Air. So all of these floor plans, we can email these to you. You can look through them, pick out which, which is best for you, check off all the boxes that you like, and we can help you order a coach really specifically to what you're looking for. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you is that if you find a floor plan in a London Air, but you want all the standard features in an Essex, the ones that are highlighted here, the 4521, the 4551, and the 4569 are all duplicated in both lines. So you can get uh, either of these three in either the Essex or the London Air, which I thought was kind of nice. Um, so one of the new features for 2023 uh, again, here are those bonded windows. You'll notice that this is much thinner here than it was in the London Air, so even more visibility. Again, I have these day uh, shades extended, um, but I love the tufting on this furniture. Now, this furniture is still going to be a synthetic material. You don't get into real leather until you get into the King Air, but to be very candid with you, I think that in this particular execution, being out camping where whether you like it or not, there's bugs, dirt, stuff that you find at campgrounds. This is so easy to take care of. And I love this floor plan because of this little buffet. What a nice place to keep your, if we do, we do a French press, so we could just plug our French press in over here, um, or our, our water heater, put our French press here, have our coffee, our creamer, everything sitting table side. Um, as you'll note, this is going to be a more traditional layout where we have the dinette on the driver's side, and then also this full extension couch. So you have a full extension trifold. I love, it's so funny. Everyone um, goes back and forth. So we used to have a single ottoman and Renegade, and then they went to the two 19 and a half inch square ottomans. This is great space though. Um, so the single ottoman has a benefit in that, you know, in the smaller one, you lose like this much room. So you have a lot more room here for blankets, and we do use our blankets all the time. And I just wanna show you Super easy to pull all of these cushions off, stack them up. Villa makes a very, very nice high quality furniture. Um, really nice tufting. These are great for little back pillows. I honestly, Kim, if you're out there and I put the pillows in the wrong place, I'm really sorry. I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to put everything. There were so many cool like little decorative pillows throughout the coach. I was like, gosh, this is like heaven. I don't even have to go to the home goods store after I get my RV. Which, by the way, if you haven't been to Home Goods and you have an RV, I'll warn you now, it's a very slippery slope. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to anybody. So, again, as I mentioned, this is that 87 inch uh, high to bed. This one on the opposite side is a jackknife. Um, but for those of you who have tall children or just tall friends for that matter, one of the things that's really nice about this layout, uh-oh, let me get my, my release. Come on, cooperate. There we go. There we go, sorry guys. 
Uh, one of the things that's nice about this layout is that you have, for people who are tall, you have a ton of room long ways. So really, really lots of room long ways for tall people. I am not a tall person, but I do have a tall son and he would fit on this bed. So for those of you who are looking for um, extra sleeping accommodations, this has got it. Now you don't have to show this video to your friends. If you do, they'll probably wanna go camping with you. And in advance, I'm sorry, but super easy to deploy, except for that little latch. Oh, and then there's seat belts back there. So just, you know, you got seat belts. And a really, really nice execution by Villa. Um, there's not a better fa um, furniture manufacturer out there in the market. We are so lucky uh, that in Napanee, where we're located, Villa makes all of our furniture. They just do such a fantastic job for us. I love this new tufted look. Um, and this is definitely more of a traditional style coach, but I think that this is a very common trend right now to see these really cool tufted kind of retro looking couches. Really, really like that. Oh, and I didn't put my leather piece down underneath. Let me just tuck that. So it's not gonna look very good without it. There we go. So easy to work with all this furniture. So really, really like uh, the new furniture look. I really like all of the new woodworking look. I really like, so you do have optional, um, I'm missing one. There's only two? Well, then that guy is gonna get right there. Uh, you can get overhead cabinets. Uh, with all the storage you have underneath, I just don't know if it's necessary. Um, another difference between the London Air and the Essex, you've got your tile mirror wall back here. There's no clock. I know, that's sad, no clock. Um, what else do we have? We got tons of storage up here, up in front. And just so you know, before you go to the container store, like I did last weekend, when you measure, make sure you're measuring this entrance here. But if you're doing something longer, so like that's like six inches. If you need to get it over the hump, that's only like five and a half. So just so you know, there's a difference there. Um, but there's a ton of storage, 22 inches wide. So lots of storage up top for games. Here's all of your telematics. Bose 900 sound bar. This thing, by the way, is rocking. Love that. More storage up here. And then one of my favorite things about the Essex that you don't get in the King Air is gonna be right here under systems. I'm gonna go ahead and go to, oh, I guess I have to do it up front now. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I haven't looked through that one long enough, but I know it's up here for sure. So let's go over here, back, awnings for you. AC, DC, generator, climate, block heater, batteries, coach mode, coach mode. How awesome is this? So this is theater mode. Um, so what do I get in an Essex? I get the tilty thing where I can dump my water tanks easier. Um, I get push button exterior doors. You get a lot of things standard that are optional on a London Air. But most importantly, I get theater mode, my 50 inch 4K TV. By the way, this is a 4K TV, that's a 4K TV, that's a 4K TV. Outside is a 4K TV. You will need a Samsung account to get everything running. Um, but you can use Hulu, you can use Netflix, Apple TV, any of those things to run your uh, television systems. Um, so all of those things. Um, our 4K, which is nice, but um, I love, love, love me some theater mode. As you can see, the mood lighting in here is just spectacular. So that's the difference. Um, 
what else do I need to cover that's different? We talked about the stainless steel wastebasket. Um, adjustable, so we talked about the, hour, the power lock for the pantry. We, now this, that's theater mode. Oh, electric gate valves in the water compartment. So I don't know if you've noticed it, but the valves down below are a little bit different. Want to make sure we cover that. The tilt feature, and then beta fusion versus nano fusion uh, cap in the front. And, oh, the Essex has a 270 amp alternator versus the, the London Air's 240 amp alternator. I don't know anything about alternators, so I can't tell you how that makes a difference, but if you would like to challenge me to find out the answer, just put a comment down below. I will learn about alternators. I have to learn about everything uh, to do these videos. I really hope that, you know, um, we've helped you a lot today, uh, that we've done a good job for you. I think I've actually covered just about every single little nuance in terms of differences between these two coaches. Um, that's important. If I missed something, let me know. Um, as usual, these are, of course, live videos on Facebook, and we are broadcasting five days a week at TTTRV. Um, but I would love to do whatever it takes to get things right for you, to give you the information that you need. Um, I do a lot of these compare and contrast videos because I do like to see what I get for the money, what the differences are, what does a London Air look like versus what does an Essex look like, um, you know, what features might be important to me, you know, those types of things. If there's something you'd like to know, please put it in the comments down below. Um, if I don't get back to you right away, shoot me a text. Um, I would love to be of assistance. I'm going to grab my clipboard and uh, Jody, I don't know, do you want to end on the outside or the inside? So everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Essex versus London Air 2023 launch video. Um, I hope it's been fun, fantastic, and informative. Uh, whatever we need to do to get you on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in today.